Hello everyone. Recently, there's been some interest around the uh, currency strength meter. So I'll show you how I build one currency strength meter on TradingView. Hey everyone. I just quickly want to jump in before we start the video. We have launched a new Discord server where you can chat with us, with the members of Lux Trading Firm and with our other traders. So definitely go and check that out in the link down below. And let's get back to the video. Here's the uh, Euro dollar chart. I'm going to uh, change the chart from a candle chart to a line one. Then I'd like to measure the strength of the US dollar. So what I'm going to do is go into the symbol search, go into erase the Euro dollar symbol. And I'd like to place an equation where I'm going to measure how many units of each currency I need to get one US dollar. So how many euros do I need to get one dollar? That's the symbol, the USD price in terms of euros. Then I'm going to multiply that price to how many Great British pounds I need to get one dollar. So I place USD GBP again times how many Swiss francs I need to get one dollar and how many Japanese yens I need to get one US dollar. So this way I measure the strength of the dollar in terms of four major currencies the euro, the great British pound, the Swiss francs and the Japanese yen. Then I press enter and TradingView shows us curve which has different values it goes from 65 up to 140 now it's at 89 this value doesn't really matter what matters is when you compare this meter to other currencies so to do that go up there you click on plus right and now you can compare that curve that blue curve the one that's measuring the strength of the US dollar to the strength of another currency let's say we'd like to measure the strength of the Great British pound so we're going to make an equation that shows us how many units of each currencies we need to get one Great British pound so how many US dollars we need to get one Great British pound plus GBP in terms of US dollars times how many euros we'd need to get one great British pound times how many Swiss francs we need to get one great British pound times how many Japanese yen we'd need to get one pound. Then we press enter and TradingView shows us another curve. This one's an orange curve, which shows us the evolution of the great British pound throughout times against four major currencies, the US dollar, the Euro, the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen. So what can we conclude from these two curves? Well, we have one curve that went from February the 21st, 2022 up to September the 26th, 2022. The US dollar went up, whereas the Great British Pound went down. So here, the middle term, long term trade would be to short the pound long dollar or to short the cable. Then after the September the 26th, the US dollar went down, got weaker and the Great British Pound jumped. So here, the middle term, long term trade was to long the Great British Pound, short the US dollar. You can add other currency meters just by clicking plus there. Let's say you'd like to measure the strength of the Euro, then you write a similar equ equation. You'd like to know how many dollars you need to get one Euro times how many pounds you need to get one Euro, how many Swiss francs to get one euro and how many Japanese yen to get one euro. Then you press enter and another line is being drawn by the trading view system. Here we have a different line that measures the strength of the euro and we have different periods where we can do some long-term or short-term trades. For instance, here from let's say June the 8th up to July the 14th, 
right? The trade was being short the euro dollar. On the contrary, from November the 3rd till, say, January the 23, the trade, the middle term or the long term trade, depending on your investing horizon, would be to be along the euro dollar. So this is how I build a currency strength meter. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you then. Bye bye.